Continuing coverage on a high-profile murder case that's preparing for trial, Corey Muhammad accused of gunning down three men in downtown Fresno and murdering a motel security guard. Investigators say Muhammad confessed to the killings and told them he targeted his victims because they were white. Our Angelica Leilani joining us live now from the courthouse. Angelica. Well, Muhammad is facing four counts of murder and four counts of attempted murder, and the Fresno DA is asking for the death penalty. But today, it was all about the prosecution, the defense, and the judge hammering out the details and kind of laying a foundation of how the trial will go. It's been nearly three years since Corey Muhammad allegedly shot and killed 25 year old security guard Carl Williams at the Motel 6 on Blackstone in Ashland. And then nearly a week later, went on a shooting spree in downtown Fresno, where police say he gunned down Zachary Randall. Mark Gassett and David Jackson. In the past, Muhammad has been in court to decide whether or not he was mentally fit to stand trial. And after being found competent, today the capital murder trial for Muhammad is finally moving forward. As he sat in the courtroom, Muhammad appeared to be rather composed compared to his previous courtroom outburst. Yeah, watch the weather. But today, the judge, Jonathan B. Conklin, reminded Muhammad that because he's warned Muhammad in the past, that kind of behavior will not be tolerated. If there is an uncontrolled outburst beyond perhaps an, an act, a normal reaction to something, so if there's a sigh or a, something that appears to be just a normal reaction, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about something disruptive and there's no more warnings. Judge Conklin, the prosecution and the defense went over their motions that each filed. The defense had in their motion to possibly have a mental health expert. I would allow an expert witness again upon proper foundation to testify about examination, um, mental illness, detected manifestations of that mental illness, but not the ultimate issue of the intent or the capacity to deform that intent. Before concluding for the day, they talked about the jury selection that will take place the first week of February. The judge mentioned they might interview more than 300 plus jurors. Now we reached out to the victims' families, and they weren't quite ready to go on camera just yet. But Carl Williams' mother sent to me a statement saying that, uh, reading in part, our family is very happy that the trial is starting. My son Carl and all of the other victims deserve to have justice and peace. And court will resume tomorrow at 10 in the morning to go over photos that could be considered in the trial. And then again, jury selection will start on February 3rd. Reporting live in downtown Fresno. I'm Angelica Leilani, KC24 Local News That Matters.